give the floor first to UN Watch. UN Watch, have the floor, please. Thank you, Mr. President. The resolution that created this panel, 1820, speaks about respect for religious and cultural diversity. UN Watch firmly believes in ensuring the freedom of every person to exercise his or her universal human rights without discrimination of any kind, be it based on race, religion, political opinion, or culture. And so, if today's exercise is designed to promote the rights of religious and cultural minority groups to be free from state persecution, discrimination, and oppression, then we support it. However, based on numerous statements that we have heard in this session, we are deeply concerned that this council is being asked not to shield individuals from persecution, but rather the opposite. The concept of religious and cultural diversity is being distorted and turned on its head. It is being used to justify state persecution, to argue that the world, the United Nations, this Human Rights Council should give a free pass to the actions of oppressive rulers on the basis of alleged cultural differences of their regions or societies. This violates the founding principles of the United Nations. It negates the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. It contradicts the vision of Eleanor Roosevelt and René Cassin, the great founders of this council. Mr. President, in this session, we even heard one country take the floor on behalf of a 57-member group to say that the diversity principle justified turning a blind eye to discrimination against women. Another country, which systematically subjugates women, hangs gay people in the public square, and persecutes members of the Baha'i faith, has a temerity to host an international center for cultural diversity. Mr. President, if the concept that is before us today will help victims of discrimination, all of us should lend our strong support. But if it is being invoked to help the perpetrators, to justify discrimination, to weaken the basic human, universal human rights of vulnerable minorities, the true supporters of human rights must say no. Thank you, Mr. President.